What do you do if one of your baby bunny's eyes is stuck shut? Hi everybody, welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Sarah and on our homestead we raise a lot of meat rabbits. And I have a complete series teaching you how to raise rabbits for meat. And I do want to put a, uh, a link to that series right up here so that you can learn all about raising rabbits for meat for your family. Now, today I want to talk with you about something that can happen from time to time with baby bunnies. Um, it is called nest box eye. And occasionally this will happen where you'll go and check on your baby bunnies uh, at the, up, around the time that they are going to open their eyes, which is between the days of like 10 days and 14 days. And you'll notice that one of your baby bunnies, or maybe a couple, have one eye open, but one eye is still stuck shut. And like I said, that's called nest box eye. And for the most part, that condition will remedy itself over time through cleaning it, uh, through the, the baby bunny cleaning it, um, and, and time trying to open it and things, it'll resolve itself. But if you're worried about it, or if, the, if it continues to kind of go on and on and you're worried about it, there are a couple things that you can do to help the baby bunny open its eye. And I'm gonna go over that with you today. Now, before we go ahead and uh, do that, I wanna talk with you a little bit about uh, what nest box eye is. Uh, basically, at the time where the baby bunny is about to open its eyes, um, if there is um, too much bacteria in the nesting material or if there's a lot of dust in it or something like that, it can get kind of in between the eyelid and create an irritation which will cause a little bit of mucus which will harden and make the um, eyelid stick shut. Now, most of the time, like I said, it will resolve itself but occasionally it can turn into something more serious and progress into a full-blown eye infection. But I'll be real honest with you, I've never had nest box eye turn into anything serious. So it's up to you. If you're concerned about it, I'm gonna teach you how you can help out. But if you wanna just hold on and see how things go and watch and check them every single day, um, you can wait until you think that things are gonna turn into a bad situation and then intervene. The weather is getting a little crazy and things are getting a little loud. Ah! <laughs> I hope you can hear me. <laughs> so, let's get help from this baby bunny. So I brought the bunny in here with me uh, so that I have a better environment to kind of teach you um, other than in by the rabbits and the goats, which are just kind of crazy right now. Here it is. Okay, so I have the baby bunny that has had its eyes stuck shut. Um, it's over 14 days old, and so it's at the point that I need to intervene. Um, and if I don't, there's a potential that it could develop into a more serious eye infection. Now, it doesn't want to be with me right now. It's pretty scared. Uh, but I want to show you uh, the eye. Now, yesterday, when I, um, when I checked on this one, its eye was stuck shut more than it is now. It looks like it's partially open. So I want to show you two different ways, natural ways, uh, to help this bunny. Essentially, what you need to do is help the bunny's eye open. Um, and there are two ways you can do that that also can prevent um, infection as well. Uh, the first way I'm going to use uh, is I'm going to use a cotton ball uh, that is wet with, you could use just warm water, um, but I am going to use um, some colloidal silver because of the uh, medicinal properties of colloidal silver. So I have some on this cotton ball and I'm gonna wipe it. Now its eyes are doing pretty good but you can see that it was stuck shut. So I'm kind of pretending that it's still stuck shut. So this moistened cotton ball we're just gonna help moisten the tissue there 
so that it can open up on its own. Now warm water would do, but like I said, the colloidal silver has such good medicinal properties and it doesn't sting. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I don't advise using a soap water because it'll sting its eyes. Okay, so that's one, that's one way to hold it on there and allow that, um, the moisture of the colloidal silver to get on the eyelid and kind of break up uh, the stickiness of the uh, eyelids that are stuck shut. Okay, so that's the first way. The second way is to apply um, some sort of ointment. Uh, now today I'm going to be using coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil also has medicinal, antibacterial, antiviral properties, and there are people these days that are using it actually to treat pink eye in humans. Uh, you can do the same with your goats and that kind of thing. Uh, so today I'm going to be putting a little bit of coconut oil on the eyelid as an ointment to help break up that kind of crusty, it's not necessarily mucusy, but uh, to help uh, open up that eyelid. Um, I have some coconut oil here and with a, you know, a, a clean finger or with a Q-tip, uh, just put a little bit on there. You know, it's going to melt against your body heat. And I'm just going to apply it to the eyelid of this little bunny and have it um, melt a little bit on there. Just kind of rub it in. And that will moisturize that eyelid and uh, help it open up. Uh, more. Now even if a little bit of either of these get in the eye, it has uh, medicinal properties that will help heal the eye. Um, but both of those ways are really good natural ways to assist your baby bunnies and help their little eyes that are stuck shut open up. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Uh, my advice from this point on is to check that baby bunny every single day. Make sure it's getting better. Make sure it's not getting worse. If you feel like it needs additional treatments with the colloidal silver or with the coconut oil, go ahead and do that once daily, uh, maybe twice daily um, if you're really concerned. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to Next Fox Eye. Um, if you have any more questions about uh, rabbits or raising rabbits in general, um, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll do my best to respond to those. Now before I go, I do also want to let you know that I have a series of videos that also teaches you how to uh, cook rabbit meat. Um, I'll put a, a link to that playlist right up here. But we also have a family cookbook of our 25 favorite rabbit recipes all together. Um, it's five dollars. It's available on Amazon.com in um, an electronic format. It's also available in our Etsy shop as a paper copy and we can send that to you. So you guys, I really appreciate you stopping by the homestead today to learn a little bit more about rabbits. Before you go, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, uh, leave me a comment, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.